Hey guys, this is XFox here, and this is going to be my complete guide to get through Dead Man's Respite. Sorry if I said it wrong. Anyway, this is going to be, again, a complete guide from right when I go in all the way to right when I go out. So if you guys are curious on this, here it is where it is on the map. And again, I'm doing this uh, as a quest, but you should be able to get in here and um, really do this at any time. Um, really, yeah. Anyway, so Dead Man's Respite, here we go. So basically you're going to go in this front door and basically the main item that you're going to need is right there at the very beginning of the uh, uh, of the entrance here, which is that claw thing. And you're going to see it here in a second. There it is on that table. You're going to see this ghostly figure guy right there. Basically you're going to see him every once in a while sort of leading you which way to go and then he just disappears. Um, so here again, you want to go grab that claw right there, the ruby dragon claw. And when you grab it, it's going to go ahead and open the door, and you're going to face a few uh, skeletons here and there. A few of these uh, Druggers, Druggers, however you say them. You know, I mean, they're not too hard, but depending on your level, they could be pretty difficult. My guy is um, level 27, and uh, yeah, I mean, I can come in here and pretty much beat all of these guys down, no problem. I think you were technically probably supposed to do this way back when you were probably like level 15 through 20, so... I'm thinking that's why it's been so easy for my guy. So here, uh, you just continue down in these caves, and again, you're gonna fight little pockets of uh, little pockets of these Druger guys that are absolutely no problem to kill. So we'll go ahead and continue on here. Pull this switch. Pretty sweet door there. Let's continue on. And again, you'll see that ghostly figure guy. I tried hitting him just cause, but you know he's just leading the way. So you're going to fight a few spiders here and there. Pretty easy to one-shot. And of course, I don't know where my companion, the Huntress, is. I can hear her bash and stuff off in the distance. So um, I use uh, Leonis, the Huntress, the chick, who is uh, basically like sort of like my guy, a big dual-handing, wielding type person. So I found her to be the best uh, companion so far for, for my class because she deals a lot of damage. Um, does a lot of the same hits so um, I tried using a mage but sometimes the mage would die pretty easy um, against you know uh, when you have two or three or four guys coming at you so I, I was tired of fighting alone so here I'd rather use the huntress to uh, really do some damage so here we're gonna continue on a few spiders are gonna drop here you're gonna bash these things up I got a little afraid here cuz I was thinking oh great these things you know usually spit that poison on you probably gonna die but yeah so here gonna go ahead and pop healing just in case and gonna get gonna go ahead and pull the lever and you're gonna see it's gonna open that cage uh, right there and it's gonna drop down I didn't know if there was another door or something that you can go through to get down there I assumed there probably is but I, I just didn't see one unless I'm super blind so I'm just going to go ahead and drop down the hole because there's a bunch of water down there. So drop on in, and of course, look at that, there's a path. So we're going to continue deeper into this path. And there's going to be a few skeleton dudes up here, as well as that ghostly guy again, sort of showing you which way to go. Then you got two or three, four of these Druger Lord guys here or whatever. And I mean, they do some decent damage, but again, due to my super high uh, heavy rating armor, that it's it's pretty hard for them to do a lot of damage and really hurt my guy. Not one of the one of the rogue guys up there, but you can see my uh, Leonis lady there took him down. Yeah, this weird thing here where these things are swinging, of course. So I'm just gonna run through them. I don't care, and pull the trigger to stop it. Perfect. Now my uh, companion can run through. I don't think she would have had a problem anyway if she would have went through, but you never know. So, of course, here we're, we're digging deeper into these caves. Yep, we're going to go into this uh, second main area, whatever you want to call it. We're about a third the way through this area. Um, still not, like, too deep into the caves, but we're, we're definitely getting farther along than where we should be. So here... I see we couldn't do anything. I can't go inside that door because it's all magic up or whatever it says. It's, it has a magic spell on it, so I can't do anything about it. 
So here we're gonna run deeper into these uh, into these uh, rooms down here. And again, we got a few of the few of the Druggers here, Scourge Lords. But overall, pretty easy to kill. Really nothing that great from him there. I thought that was some type of cool thing on the wall, but it's just his ice or whatever he casted. So we're going to go deeper here. Of course, there's an expert lock here, so I decided not to show you me doing breaking 30 locks, but some decent stuff in there. I mean, uh, nice mace and things like that. That uh, treasure chest but there was actually it was a master, so you had to go through an expert door, then a master, which I broke about 30 lock picks or maybe 20. So here we're going to continue on down to this bottom room. I went ahead and did a quick save right here. Again, I always like to be safe. All of a sudden, of course, you got all these, uh, you got all these uh, mage Druger guys coming out here trying to kill you. And you can see that the, my companion back there got stuck in that, uh, stuck in that back room back there. And I'm beating all of them down, absolutely no problem. So here I'm figuring, okay, I gotta see, I gotta get down into that. Uh, into that well right there. So here, after I kill all of these Druger guys, and all these skeletons, I see that I can't get back out, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lever. Of course, the lever is gonna open that door to the par uh, to the you know parallel thing to go down there. And this is where that guy is gonna be who has the uh, who's been that ghostly apparition. He's actually down there. Um, He's dead, so I don't know, you know, if it's ghostly apparitions telling you to come find him or something like that, so. So here I wasn't quite sure. I was just looking around, making sure there's nothing I could find or get or anything like that before I head down this well. So perfect, here we go. Go ahead and head down this well. Then you can see that he's stuck down here. Behind this rock thing. What a, what a, what a bad way to die when you're, uh, Stuck in this, stuck in this back room here. So you can see there's his aspiration. Gonna go ahead and check him out. Make sure you grab that uh, that book right there. I couldn't get on it right there. Grab the book. Go ahead and keep it. And then you've completed this quest uh, to get this book uh, like you're supposed to. There we go. And again, if you guys didn't already know, this is uh, the mission. If you want to start it, you guys can go to the uh, Bard's College all the way back um, by the, uh, I think it's called the Blue Blue Diamond School or whatever it was. Anyway, um, yeah, so here we go. What's going to happen here is that, that Aspiration Ghost is actually going to walk back up those stairs and turn off that magic spell that was put on that door. I was running around here because I wasn't quite sure on where to go, you know, what I was supposed to do, what I was supposed to get. So here I was just running around, picking up a few items, checking out, you know, a few swords right here that was sort of hovering in the air. That was sort of cool. Thought maybe it might have had some cool special ability on it, but it didn't. So here again I was just, you know, searching around and I wasn't quite sure of where to go or, or what to pick up. But you can see up here that this ghostly guy is standing back up here and he goes over here and shuts off this uh, magic whatever is on that door. So we know that a lot of the times when you guys come through here, right, when you guys get to these doors where they have sort of this combination, we know there's something good back here. So the thing about these doors too, if this is the first one you've ever seen, you're probably going to see five, six, seven, I don't know, a ton of these type of doors all throughout your game. So you can see where I am on the map here. Uh, in, case, in case you guys are skipping through the video. Basically, it's the only door like this. It's like really the only place you can go when you're here, right? So here we are again, Dead Man's Respite. And again, here it is on the map in case you guys are skipping through. Real easy here to find it on the map. Absolutely no problem. And again, these claw doors, this is where that claw that I showed you guys earlier that you picked up right from, the, uh, right from that very first desk at the beginning, where it's going to come into play. So here, you're just going to want to go into your items. I think it's under miscellaneous, or it could be under key. I don't think it's under keys. It was under miscellaneous. And so you go down, and I think it was the ruby claw is what we called it. And you could see I already have a ton of other claws, ebony claw, you know, uh, crystal claw, etc. So just make sure that you go look for the ruby claw here. 
And again, I wasn't quite sure. I go, was it was it the sapphire claw? Was it the ruby claw? There it is, ruby dragon claw. So what you want to do is you want to look at it anytime you have one of these and look at those three symbols there. And the three symbols, of course, are wolf, eagle, wolf. And I'm not sure if it's random every time or if it's the same three on everybody's, but nonetheless, you just look at the actual claw that you have, look at the three marks on it. Again, wolf, eagle, wolf. And that's what you gotta do right above here. So there's the wolf, that's already set. Don't pull out your weapon, of course, hit the E button. <laughs> so wolf, I'm gonna switch this second one to eagle. There we go. And then a wolf. And then use the claw to open it. So wolf, eagle, wolf, open. Easy enough. Anytime you open these doors, you know there's going to be a fight on this other side, whether it's real soon or instantly. So I recommend saving. Um, you know, if there's a door, save right before the door so you don't got to run every time. But save it multiple times before you fight this last uh, section here. So here... I'm going to come up here, and you can look, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, there's a lot of skeletons in here. So what I try to do is beat as much of them down as I can. I do recommend using a companion here. You're coming in here by yourself, and with that ghostly apparition guy, you might have a little bit of a problem. But me, absolutely no problem, because I got, you know, basically three guys with me here. Or two guys with me here, three total, of course. But still, you can tell, even with my armor masteries and all that stuff, my guy is still getting beat down pretty hard. So here I'm going to go ahead and pop healing to try and get healed back up. And you guys haven't even seen the last boss in here yet. He's called like One-Eyed, the King of One-Eye or King One-Eye or something like that. So you're going to see him here just in a second. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. I really didn't need that there. Just taking a look over my items here, just figuring, huh, you know, maybe I should use that. Nah, let's just keep, let's just keep with my withrad uh, weapon that I have there. So here we go. Uh, we killed off the first wave, and of course you're going to see the uh, the main guy step up there. You can see there's a nice call to push the stuff out, and here he comes. He's ready to rock and roll. And my technique is I'll let the other two uh, guys that go to the aspiration as well as my uh, companion to beat this guy down a little bit here because he would be very difficult to beat if um, if if I was trying to do him you know with just the ghostly apparition guy so what I try to do is kill off a lot of the, uh, the smaller Druger guys here so that way the two other guys can focus on the one-eyed uh, the one-eyed king guy there so kill off this last guy here and if I look back, perfect. They went ahead and killed him for me, which is great because he was super, super tough. So perfect. We killed off that whole wave. So that's how I was able to beat it. I know a lot of people were telling me or messaging me saying, hey, I'm a mage and I can't beat it. So, uh, you know, I would try it. If they were a mage, I would try to filter all of them at that very first punch down to that, that hallway and just try to kite them as best you can. And then, of course, just keep spamming as best as you can. But I'm no mage expert. So once you kill him, of course, you want to run up to the top here. Up at the very top of the stairs, you're going to learn a new shout. As well as you grab the key off that the king's dead body. And you're going to be able to go over to the door right there to the left. And there's some pretty nice loot there. So here we go. We're going to learn the shout. So that's it. I, you know, Hopefully this guide helped anybody out there who's having a little bit of problems coming in here or just wanted to get a good heads up on you know sort of what's next in here so if you can guys definitely subscribe i appreciate it thumbs up and thanks again for watching